Salut Yelan et bienvenue au sixième corps je crois de vidéo Alors je vais continuer en anglais Welcome, welcome guys, I hope you're looking forward to today's lesson So today we're putting you to the test We're actually speaking about friendship So we've blitzed through appearance and personality It's a bit about family, we're going to come back to that next week But today we're talking about friendship and actually talking and speaking about it I've said that if you get module one in the speaking exam This is an absolute key question. I'm going to ask you about your friends and friendships and you will need to use the vocabulary you've learned and all the structures you've learned in your actual speaking exam. So today to get into the spirit, we'll be doing a picture card on this, a real picture card that could come up in your exam. It's come up before. We're going to see how well you can do it. So that's what we're going to do today. If you're not 100% sure about this friendship vocabulary, Pause the lesson now, go and memorise and come back when you feel more confident or go back to lessons and watch all of the language we've looked at and then restart this lesson. If it makes your French better and it makes you learn more, it is definitely worth it. If you think you're ready, carry on watching this video and we'll get into it. Alors mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire, s'il vous plaît, copier ou inventer la date, copier le titre du genre et comment dit-on les six choses ici a good friend is. Je vous ai donné les premières lettres pour vous aider. Allez, mettez Mr. Ennis sur pause et on y va. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, if you've restarted me, it means you've got the date down, you've got the title down, and you've completed our post-it note test. I think it's pretty straightforward today. I've put some more left field things in, like number three, and we'll talk about why when we look at the picture card. So if you've not done this, pause me now and go for it. If you're ready then, today we're putting it all together. We're going to be doing a picture card. Now, remember... You ask year 11, they'll tell you this is the worst bit of the speaking exam, the picture card, because you're getting on the day, you've got 12 minutes to prepare. But we did have quite a lot of year 11s last year getting full marks on the picture card just because we practiced it so much. Today's practice is going to be good. Do it properly and it'll show you how good your French is. We are using all the language we've looked at. You will need to be able to describe yourself, describe your friends and talk about activities you do with your friends today, which is where our post-it note comes in. So six key answers. I hope you got them all. A good friend, un bon ami masculin, un bon ami féminin. C'est comme ça. Donc un bon ami, une bonne amie, a tiny little change. Remember our synonyms for ami. On peut dire ami, copain, po. All of these are different ways. You've got to use a range of language to get the top marks. And that's what I want to hear today. We chat. Okay, so this is, if they ask you on a picture card, they're not just going to ask you like what makes a good friend. They're always going to ask you about activities you do. So we've put a few new verbs in today and we chat. The verb to chat is bavarder. Donc changer le verbe. New bavardon. That's a lovely piece of vocabulary that will make you stand out. Alors, numéro 4. Someone who is... Quelqu'un qui est, hopefully you got that, we go, nous allons, et finalement, to say on Saturday morning, you just say le samedi matin. Now, why have we added three and six? Because remember, to get the top marks on picture cards, you need to develop your ideas. So if you want to say like a good friend is um, someone who I have a lot of shared interests with, you can say we chat about football all the time. On Saturday mornings, We like to go to the park to play football together and that will just give that extra detail and it'll give you a way to develop your answers naturally that will make you stand out to the examiner. So I know we've looked at friendship, but we're going to be throwing in other things today to complement and to make your picture card even better. Let's start with the vocab warm up before the real fun begins, mes enfants. Et voilà, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. C'est exactement le même vocabulaire qu'on a fait le dernier camp. Donc, Mettez-moi ce pause et préparez-vous pour quelques minutes. Quand vous êtes prêts, recommencez la vidéo and I'll count down and start you in. Put me on pause now, guys. Voilà, all right. So if you've restarted me, you should be ready for this. You know how this works. On commence. Un, deux, deux, un. Allez. Alors, first columns down, soyez rapide mes petits, allez. Alright, second columns almost down, soyez rapide, allez, 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 allez. Et 5, 4, et 3, 2, 1. Alors, c'est fini, alors donc, hopefully you got to the end of this, this is our key language for today. One more bit of fun before we get into the real work. 
Et voilà, maintenant c'est la même chose. Il faut dire français, anglais, français, anglais. Let's try this with uh, any prep. See what you can do. I'll show you how it's done. A good friend is a bon ami. A good friend is a bon ami n'est pas. A good friend is never. A bon ami n'est jamais. In my opinion, a bon ami, according to me, selon moi. Boom. That's how fast I need you to be. No preparation time. We start in 3, 2, allez. Our right, first column's halfway through. First column's gone. Allez, allez, allez. Alors, just one column left. So, you're rapid, mes petits. Et cinq. Quatre. Toi. De un, c'est fini mes petits. Right, well done if you got to the end of that. Alors, donc, right guys, so you know the vocabulary, we've tested you on that already. Let's put it together in some full sentences. And I want to think about that picture card and this activity is to give you an idea of the ideal structures we want and what you need to do to develop. Alors, donc, vous avez fait les words plusieurs fois um, dans les cas avec moi. Donc, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire, mais je vais réexpliquer en français ici. 1, 2, 3, 4, je vous ai donné une phrase en anglais. Ici, en utilisant les mots dans le bol, il faut traduire les phrases. Donc, a good friend is someone who is honest. Cherchez pour le vocabulaire. Un bon ami is someone who est quelqu'un qui is honest. Et honnête. Voilà, donc, cherchez dans le vocabulaire pour les mots ici. Il y a un défi additionnel on your sheet. You've got some vocabulary to look for. See if you can find it. And then your extra, extra challenge today. Write this her sentence describing a bad friend. What qualities do they have? What have they done? And then this is the most important thing. Give an example. This is what we want on your picture card. This is how to get the top marks on the mark scheme for the speaking card. So give an example. If you say a bad friend is selfish, you can say like... Um, my friends Jenna never shares M&Ms or something like that, that would make it even better. Give that example, that's how to get the top mark. Put me on pause guys, give yourself five minutes for this task. It's on your phone, put a timer for five minutes, put me on pause for that long, see how far you can get. Alors bon courage mes petits, vous avez cinq minutes, on y va. Alors tout le monde, let's go through the answers then and see what you've got. Le premier, a good friend is someone who is honest, easy, un bon ami et quelqu'un qui est honnête. This is a lovely start for your exam and for the picture card. So if the picture card says what makes a good friend, this is a great phrase, un bon ami et quelqu'un qui, which we all know. And then a word like honest et honnête is brilliant. It's really nice vocabulary. Then develop that par exemple. Tell me why. That's the trickiest thing and that's where you need to go. Alors, numéro deux. Honesty is a personality trait that is very important for me. That is a lovely advanced sentence. To put that in French is brilliant and you can link these two ideas together. So, comme on dit, oh, honesty is a personality trait that is very important for me. Alors, donc, on dit l'honnêteté et un trait de personnalité très important pour moi. The examiner will love that. You've used honest and honesty, so you've got the noun and you've got the adjective. Absolutely brilliant, guys. The examiner will love it. You can all put two sentences together like that on your picture card today if you know your vocab. All right, first two down. Let's have a look at the more complex ones. Trois et quatre. Alors, donc, you more According to me, a good friend is funny and makes me laugh. So loads of people on their exam will get up to this bit. But this extra bit, this is where the examiner will be impressed. So, how do you do it? Selon moi, un bon ami est drôle et me fait rire. Voilà. And with those three little words, me makes laugh, me fait rire, you've gone from a pretty standard grade three, four answer up to a five, six. Simple three words, me fait rire, parfait. That's how it's done. Et finalement, numéro quatre, qui est expert aujourd'hui, a good friend sees the good side of things, especially if I'm sad. What a beautiful advanced sentence. Comme on dit en français, un bon ami voit le bon côté des choses, surtout si je suis triste. Lovely. You can use this line as well in this phrase, surtout si, especially if, for loads of different contexts. This is a lovely, lovely sentence. We can make this even better today. We've used ami four times for this. Use one of our alternatives and think about how to say it. That'd be even better. All right, guys. So, bon effort jusqu'ici. Let's have a look at our vocab treasure hunt. 
Voilà, donc, comment trouver les mots ici? A personality trait, c'est un trait de personnalité. Which is an aspect of your personality. It's a really nice piece of English and French. According to me, c'est selon moi, sad is triste. Et la tristesse is sadness. That is such an important word. It will be in your reading and your listening exams. So make sure you know it. He or she sees, il elle voit. Things are les choses, certain choses, certain things, quelque chose, something. So you need to know this word. Chose means things, and then especially you say sir tu. Sir on its own means on. Tu is everything. So on top of everything is especially, and it's the same thing in Spanish as well. Sobre todo, you do exactly the same thing, right, guys? So a really good effort if you got this vocab. If you did the extra extra challenge. I'm sure there's some beautiful attempts. Now remember, if the question asks you what are the qualities of a good friend, show your flair and your confidence to the examiner. You can answer that and you can say, however, a bad friend does this, or you can give a negative about it. That will just show the examiner your skill, your confidence, and really impress them. So if you got into the extra extra challenge, excellent effort, mes petits. Right, guys, you are ready. We know this vocabulary. We've had two lessons on it and we've looked and talked about developing it into full sentences and what you need to do. I'm going to talk through the picture card. Now you know this. You've done picture cards before, but I like to go through the rules. So it's fresh in your mind. Alors, donc, this is what the picture card looks like then. These are the sort of timings. You will have some questions that you'll see and you'll have one that you won't see for higher. If you're doing foundation, you'll have all five questions. And this is how it works, guys. You've 12 minutes to prepare the role play and the picture card. You'll be spending about 10 minutes on the picture card minimum. Today, we're doing a whole 12 minutes on the picture card. You can make up notes on one side of A4 and year 11. Love this. They come into the exam with everything they're going to say written down and it just gives you more confidence and, and it will really help you deliver what to do. I want you to do that today. Write every word you want to say. Get it all down on a piece of A4 to make sure you're ready. In your prep time, there's no help, no dictionary, no book or nothing. It's just the French you've got in your head. Now today, I know you're at home. Absolutely no cheating. Do it this way. I know it'll be harder. I know your French won't look as good as if you used your book, but I ain't important. it ain't important in how good it looks. And I don't care about how good it looks. I care about what French you've got in your head. So today, when you do this task, no looking at your book, no looking at your vocab against the clock. This will be more challenging, but it will push you. And this is what it's all about. You need to do this blind today to really test you. And then remember, you're supervised by an invigilator. So Sally, I can't do that when you're doing this at home, but you will not be able to cheat in the exam, uh, no matter how good you are at it. Right, guys, so that's how it works. You know the ladder to success. This is what we don't want to see on the lads' success. You, you know this. We've been through this. But so many people, even good candidates, can sometimes fall into this trap. They don't know the expectations. And I'll ask them a question and then they'll hit me with something like this. Something straightforward and short. And uh, like I'll say to them, what's the qualities of a good friend? And they'll say, on bon ami et gentil. And, and I'll look at them and they'll look at me to ask the next question. And I'm like, obviously, it's a speaking exam, but I'm like, what are you doing? You've got to develop. This is no good. You're not going to get a GCC if you're just doing a simple sentence like this. You've got to develop your ideas. I'll show you how. Here we go. This is what we want. So whenever you give an idea, so a good friend is kind or a good friend is nice, justify why that's important to you. Give an example, narrate, give an opinion. It's one time I was sad or when I am sad, my friend tells me jokes or my friend makes me laugh or anything like that. That's how to get the very top mark. I want loads of opinions, but you've got to justify them and give me examples to get to it. This top one here, your pronunciation should be excellent. We do loads of beautiful speaking and you sound great. Inaccuracies are minimal. Don't worry about making a few mistakes when you speak. And then this one, you should all have this. You should all be confident and fluid in your abilities because you've written down your answers you've done more speaking practice when you do this exam than any other year 11 in the whole country guaranteed so be confident show what you can do you guys are going to be ready for this speaking and all right guys so first question is always what's happening in the picture and for this question you need to remember SWAM. This will help you out. It's a little acronym we've got to make you think about how to say it. So you need to first off on that question one, tell me what you see. 
describe where it is, tell me about the weather, tell me what people are wearing, and then what activity they're doing, and then what's the message. I'm gonna show you this today. When you're in year 11, you won't be able to see this, but this will be tattooed into the inside of your eyelids. So when you shut your eyes, you'll see it. You need to revise this structure. Voila, guys, here's our photo for the day. Um, and here is where we've got our swam. This is what you'll need to use to help you out. So we've got a picture today of like two girls. One's obviously sad, it's obviously about friendship. So how do you do this? Pick here and use this to help you develop the ideal answer. So first off, what can we see in this picture? Think about where it is, the weather and what they're wearing. So I just use this. Sur la photo, il y a des enfants. Elles portent un short et un t-shirt. Il fait gris. Ils sont en train de, right, we'll have to change that to elles sont en train de because they're feminine. Elles sont en train de parler. Elles ont l'air triste. See what I've done there. So I've gone through all of this. I've said the activity. Remember, this um, être en train de is to be in the middle of. It's a really high level, A level phrase. Use it with your infinitive. So they're in the middle of talking. They seem sad. And then we come over here. Je pense que la photo nous montre que un bon ami est quelqu'un qui écoute mes problèmes. Boom. That is full marks for question one. That is the perfect answer. You can all do that sort of answer. So use it, guys. That's my question one. And then I go for the rest of them. Alors mes enfants, right guys, so I want you to do this exactly like we would in class. Don't use your books, don't use your vocab, don't use Google for anything. This is all down to you. I want to see and you should be able to see how good your learning has been, how well you've taken in the last few lessons. So give yourself 12 minutes, put 12 minutes on your phone or whatever, put a countdown down and then go for it to get into the habit of doing this. I'll put on the next few slides, I'll put um, question one up so you can use that for question one, then go for the rest of them. You need to watch the time, you need to manage your time to get a real feel of what this real exam is like. So today, I'll be really happy with one minute and 10 seconds. If you can get up to this time, I think you've done really, really well when you perform to yourself. Any more is absolutely brilliant. Two minutes or more would be the an absolute top time, even in year 11, like even in year 11, that'd be beyond what they expect. So that'd be fantastic. All right, let's go through the questions on the next slide. Et voilà. Here's your questions for today. I've not translated them on the slides, so if you don't catch this, we'll go for it. First one, obviously describe the photo. Le deuxième, à ton avis, quelles sont les qualités les plus importantes d'un ami? Justifie tes opinions. Easy. What are the qualities, the most important qualities of a friend? Justify your opinions. That is an open goal question, guys. Un bon ami est quelqu'un qui, par exemple, you've got to go for it. This is the big one, remember. Justify yourself to get a top mark. And then, this one here seems a bit left field. It's not what we've studied over the few lessons, but you can do really well in it. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire avec tes amis? What do you like doing with your friends? Now, you need to really go to town on this. Remember, we don't go to the cinemas. We don't go to KFC. Everyone does that. Tell me something else you like doing with your friends. Why don't you try and stand out and show your ability in French? Why don't you use a different tense here? We love football. Last week, we went to... Um, Sutton United to watch a game. It was rubbish. Like, you need to develop your opinions and go for it. That is an open goal. Don't be boring. Be as creative as you can. Creative as you can. Alors, quatrième, tu es comment? What are you like? Give a description of yourself. We haven't done that for a few lessons from before Easter, so that's going to really test you. And then the extra challenge today says, ton ou ta meilleur ami et comment? What's your best friend like? Tell us what your best friend's like. Give a description of them to see what you can do. There are two extra challenge questions. I'll put them up like after we've performed. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, set 12 minutes on your phone. As promised, here's the slide for question one to help you out to get you ready for it. When you restart me, I'll put the secret questions up. Hello, right, guys. So you should have be fully prepared now. You should have written out everything you want to say. You should have your 12 minutes ready. Here's two extra challenge questions that I want you to answer on the spot at the end. So read them through, see if you can answer them on the spot once you performed. What I want you to do then is perform on your own, guys. You've written out what you want to say. Go for it now. Read out what you've got. Read it through. 
on your phone, put a timer on so you can hit a difficult, very difficult or expert time limits and see what you've got. And then add these two at the end and then you're done. Right, put me on pause. Good luck, guys. Ali on you up. Alors, right guys, an excellent effort today. I just imagine you working really hard at home on this. This is the pinnacle. This is the hardest part of the GCSE exam. And if you're doing it already, you should be really, really impressed with what you've done. If you can do this at the end of year nine, just think how good you're going to be in year 11 for the real exam and think what sort of fantastic grade you can get. So a really, really good effort today. I'm going to go through the homework now. Right, guys. So homework is a bit different and it's actually going to take some ex explanation today. So listen really carefully to me. This is what you need to do. I emailed you during the holidays a link and if you press on the link it will take you to this booklet now everyone's got their own booklet and I sent you all a link because it only gives access to you this way you can't all look at someone clever in the class and copy theirs down um, you've got to do it yourself and also your mates can't go on this and write like loads of rude stuff on so when I look at it you get into trouble so that link is just for you now this is called the long list booklet all through year 10 and year 11 I'm going to be setting questions out of this now this book is absolutely gold because do you ever get a feeling when you do an assessment or exam and you think god I wish I knew the questions in advance say English if you knew that they were going to ask you about Lady Macbeth You'd absolutely smash that question for Jesus English. Well, good news. These are the questions for your speaking and your writing exam. For your speaking exam, your real GCSE speaking exam, I'll have a copy of this booklet and I'll be asking questions from it. So you'd be an idiot to not do your best on this. What we're going to do is as we work through the modules in year 9, 10 and 11, I'm going to set you certain questions that you'll have to fill out then. When you're revising for the real thing at the end of year 11, you've already well, you've already got like a model answer typed up here that you can do. And when you revise, you might look back and say, oh, no, I can add that or spot a mistake and make it even better. So this book will last you all throughout your GCC and it's revision as you go, which is what it's all about. You don't leave your revision to the final few weeks of year 11. You start revising from now with this book clip. So what I want you to do is this. Go back to the link I sent you on email and click it and then this book will load up. I want you to answer questions one, question two, three and then six and seven. So don't do four and five. We're going to cover that next week. So you need to answer these questions in as much detail as possible. Then when you save it, make sure you don't like download it and save it on your own, like my documents or whatever, because then I can't see it. Save it on SharePoint, just save it as it is and then leave it and I can check it another time. And that's all you need to do. Any problems with this, please just email me and ask me about it. Oh, like that is the easiest thing to do. Make sure you get this done because I can check it and edit it and look at it as well. That is what you need to do It's 50 minutes for five questions so that just shows you about 10 minutes a question make this good because this will be your real gcc answer potentially so that's what i want you to do for homework today guys 50 minutes on this make sure you go for it we'll be filling this in as we go right an excellent excellent effort today i know picture cards are so hard i'm sure you've worked really hard and i'm really happy with your effort hopefully I'll be able to see you soon. I'm watching the news, looking at lockdown to see when it'll be lifted. It'd be great to see you for the final weeks of time. I'd absolutely love that, guys. Make sure you're looking after yourselves. Make sure you're being safe. Alors donc, à la prochaine fois. Merci, mes petits. Au revoir.